Yes, but I can't help but think that there will be massive unemployment on the part of all government officials. How are we going to have soldiers to go out and murder brown people if they don't have salaries? I mean, I, I can't see how it could possibly do anything but collapse. I think the whole thing is coming down and, and hang on to your hat and just pray that... And they're not going to get away with it. That's we're gonna the good have, part. We're gonna have That's to, where the Lord comes yeah. in. Amen to that. We're, we're going to have to begin organizing on a community basis because central authority, the structure of government is going to begin to collapse. Okay? So there's no way it can hold together. Absolutely not. Thanks no, very much. Thank you all. And you too. Karen from Sacramento. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Well, I'm just fine, and, of course, I love listening to both of you, which I do religiously. Um, and a question, and, of course, I'm being reminded uh, that it all ends up with the Lord and starts and ends with the Lord, of course. Um, if a person, which one has here, been following Bob's advice and investing in three of the metals that you recommend, um, I'm thinking with what's going on with the seven days waiting period and what seems to be accelerating here. Uh, then, as an example, if you want to eventually cash some of that in, uh, then you receive a check, then you go to the bank, and you may or may not get any money is kind of what's going through my mind. Is there another route, or should I just do what probably is going to happen? Uh, leave it to the Lord, Bob. Well, I think you <clears throat> should have uh, gold and silver coins as well as shares. Oh, yes. And it's my yes. job to get you out and everybody else out of the shares before the bottom falls out. And you know fact, you have to... For that matter, even numismatic coins, because whatever premium they'll be build up in them, they'll lose in that sort of a situation, which would be a deflationary depression or some kind of an economic collapse. And so you do both, and in, in the interim, you usually will make a lot more money in the shares and hopefully convert them uh, to uh, gold and silver bullion coins in the final analysis. And I think we may even get back to a barter system of some sort as this whole thing implodes, Karen. And I agree yeah, with that. That's where I think it's going to end up. look pretty good. <clears throat> Well, we're in for a difficult time, and just uh, just prepare for it and uh, understand what lies ahead. Uh, we, uh, because think what's going to happen to the average individual who has no idea what's going on. That's what frightens me. And, of course, there's going to be chaos on our city. There's going to be a breakdown of law and order, and we're going to have to learn to look after ourselves and, of course, one another. Anything else you want to ask? No, I, I agree, and unfortunately I have others that I need to be aware of because they're just not going to listen. Well, I, uh, well they're not going to take care they, of them, unfortunately. They will listen, but I'm, I'm uh, trying eventually. To pedal, I'm trying to pedal awful fast, not just for me. I know. God bless and it only goes. My little bit only goes so far. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm just so thankful to be aware uh, because uh, it's only been the last couple of years that I've been listening to the last <laughs> to the two of you, and it's been a it's been very frightening. Uh, but I'm so pleased uh, to have the Lord and and the two of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Well, put Thank the you. Lord first, and, and uh, we're sort of second rate. But anyway, we're yeah, a long way in the back. <laughs> You're the Lord's instruments. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank bye. you very much. Let, let's go to Paul calling from Oklahoma once again. The number is one triple eight two four liberty one triple eight two four liberty or here in the central coast of California at 464-8295. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Uh, hi, sir. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to mention that in this state of uh, Oklahoma, it's been for... I think I heard him right. It said for the last 70 years, as long as I can remember, um, they've had what's called a prison rodeo. It's actually been in uh, a couple films, you know, TV movies, that they, here in Oklahoma they have a big prison rodeo. And uh, they said this year that they can't budget in the money to have the rodeo. And it's the first time, like I said, in 70 years that they haven't been able to come up with the money. And here's my question. Obviously, that's bad for the situation, but they said that the rodeo generated at least a million dollars for 
the county. Now, how would they, how would they, wouldn't it be better if they came up with the money and then, if, in other words, if they get a million dollars back and it generates a million dollars, they must be in a really bad way to not be able to budget in the money to have the rodeo to go on. Come it usually on. gets stolen. And if it's not stolen, it's uh, appropriated on, on situations that uh, help the people who are in office or in charge and uh, and are their friends. And that's where it went. And uh, you just have to track down the money trail and say, look, you got a million dollars. What did you do with it? All right. And also, at this weekend at the um, Tulsa um, County Fairgrounds, um, it's on the uh, 27th and the 28th. There's going to be a, a gun show, and uh, Bo Greitz is going to be there in person if anybody would, wants to go or anybody's listening around. Well, if, it, if, you go, if you go, I want you to give Bo my best regards, will you? Okay, yeah, I was, I was thinking about going just so I could, you know, talk to him and about the Linda. Do you remember Linda, that Linda Wiegand thing? Yeah, I do remember that a long time what ago. What happened with that? I wanted, to, I wanted to go just to talk to him and ask him whatever happened with all that. All right, well, all, you let us know. Right now we got a friend, but let's go to George calling from uh, Toronto. Hi, George. How you doing? Great, Dr. Stan. Uh, Bob, uh, you, you say that the country should um, devalue, revalue, and then back to your new uh, global trading currency with, with, with gold. He didn't say we should, but that he says that he thinks that's what's going to happen. Okay. And also, and I, I think that that currency will only use, be used for trade. Right. So it okay. may, may become something later, but that will be their, their foot in the door. And they've got to back it with gold. If they don't, it's a, it's a first-class loser. Is there you know, enough people think think they're masters of the universe and they can't make any mistakes even though they make plenty of them and you know their their attitude uh, can destroy hold that, hold that thought hold that thought yeah this is Dr. Stan I guess it's Bob Chapman uh, Bob, I am the big friend George from Houston George we're not going to get to Bruce uh, says he's reading an article about silver spectacular crash so what was the question well, this uh, uh, was called the Market Oracle. This is the guy, this is the site that was heard. He said that silver is, is not going past the, the, you know, the magical, the, uh, the uh, pressure at $15 is where people, people buy it, and then it might, it might trip up over, uh, you know, a, a few of market highs. But it seems, he says that everybody's dumping it, and it'll always stay around that $15 buy point. All right, fine. So what do you think about that, Bob? Well, of course, I disagree. Okay, and fine. The right has been the writer has been uh, more wrong than right, that's for sure. Okay, Bruce, and we're going to have to run because we're out of time. If you'd like to call Bob, he'll be back again on the 8 o'clock program. Okay, I will do that. God bless. Okay, okay fine. fine. And so we're going to have to let the, everybody go because we're out of time. Hey, thanks so much, Bob. We'll look forward to talking to you at 8 o'clock tonight. Well, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for listening. God bless. And I do look forward to sitting, listening to him, too. Okay, fine. Well, because we do have this is one of our most popular programs. Well, this is the time when 